Question number 241. You are developing a new application that uses exclusively compute engine VMs. Once a day, this application will execute five different batch jobs. Each of the batch jobs requires a dedicated set of permissions on Google Cloud resources outside of your application. You need to design a secure access concept for the batch jobs that adheres to the least privilege principle. What should you do? A. 1. Create a general service account GSA to orchestrate the batch jobs. 2. Create one service account per batch job BSA-1 to 5. Grant only the permissions required to run the individual batch jobs to the service accounts and generate service account keys for each of these service accounts. 3. Store the service account keys in Secret Manager. Grant GSA access to Secret Manager and run the batch jobs with the permissions of BSA-1 to 5. B1. Create a general service account GSA to execute the batch jobs. 2. Grant the permissions required to execute the batch jobs to GSA. 3. Execute the batch jobs with the permissions granted to GSA. C1. Create a workload identity pool and configure workload identity pool providers for each batch job. 2. Assign the workload identity user role to each of the identities configured in the providers. 3. Create one service account per batch job BSA-1 to 5 and grant only the permissions required to run the individual batch jobs to the service accounts. 4. Generate credential configuration files for each of the providers. Use these files to execute the batch jobs with the permissions of BSA-1 to 5. D1. Create a general service account GSA to orchestrate the batch jobs. 2. Create one service account per batch job BSA-1 to 5 and grant only the permissions required to run the individual batch jobs to the service accounts. 3. Grant the service account token creator role to GSA. Use GSA to obtain short-lived access tokens for BSA-1 to 5 and to execute the batch jobs with the permissions of BSA-1 to 5. The correct answer is D. D. 1. Create a general service account GSA to orchestrate the batch jobs. 2. Create one service account per batch job BSA-1 to 5 and grant only the permissions required to run the individual batch jobs to the service accounts. 3. Grant the service account token creator role to GSA. Use GSA to obtain short-lived access tokens for BSA-1 to 5 and to execute the batch jobs with the permissions of BSA-1 to 5. Question number 242. Your Google Cloud environment has one organization node, one folder named apps, and several projects within that folder. The organizational node enforces the constraints slash IAM dot allowed policy member domains organization policy, which allows members from the terraamearth.com organization. The apps folder enforces the constraints slash IAM dot allowed policy member domains organization policy, which allows members from the flowlogistic.com organization. It also has the inherit from parent false property. You attempt to grant access to a project in the apps folder to the user email. What is the result of your action and why? A. The action succeeds because members from both organizations, terraamearth.com or flowlogistic.com, are allowed on projects in the apps folder. B. The action succeeds and the new member is successfully added to the project's identity and access management, I am policy because all policies are inherited by underlying folders and projects. C. The action fails because a constraint slash IAM dot allowed policy member domains organization policy must be defined on the current project to deactivate the constraint temporarily. D. The action fails because a constraint slash IAM dot allowed policy member domains organization policy is in place and only members from the flowlogistic.com organization are allowed. The correct answer is D. D. 
The action fails because a constraint slash IAM dot allowed policy member domains organization policy is in place and only members from the flowlogistic.com organization are allowed. Question number 243. An administrative application is running on a virtual machine, VM, in a managed group at port 5601 inside a virtual private cloud, VPC, instance without access to the internet currently. You want to expose the web interface at port 5601 to users and enforce authentication and authorization Google credentials. What should you do? A. Configure the Bastion host with OS login enabled and allow connection to port 5601 at VPC firewall. Log in to the Bastion host from the Google Cloud Console by using SSH in browser and then to the web application. B. Modify the VPC routing with the default route point to the default internet gateway. Modify the VPC firewall rule to allow access from the internet 0.0.0.0 slash 0 to port 5601 on the application instance. C. Configure secure shell access, SSH, Bastion host in a public network, and allow only the Bastion host to connect to the application on port 5601. Use a Bastion host as a jump host to connect to the application. D. Configure an HTTP load balancing instance that points to the managed group with Identity Aware Proxy, IAP, protection with Google credentials. Modify the VPC firewall to allow access from IAP network range. The correct answer is D. D. Configure an HTTP load balancing instance that points to the managed group with Identity Aware Proxy, IAP, Protection with Google credentials. Modify the VPC firewall to allow access from IAP network range. Question number 244. Your company's users access data in a BigQuery table. You want to ensure they can only access the data during working hours. What should you do? A. Assign a BigQuery data viewer role along with an IAM condition that limits the access to specified working hours. B. Run a SIDL script that assigns a BigQuery data viewer role and remove it only during the specified working hours. C. Assign a BigQuery data viewer role to a service account that adds and removes the users daily during the specified working hours. D. Configure Cloud Scheduler so that it triggers a Cloud Functions instance that modifies the organizational policy constraint for BigQuery during the specified working hours. The correct answer is A. A. Assign a BigQuery data viewer role along with an IAM condition that limits the access to specified working hours.